Sony's new addition to its cinema line is the FR7. It takes its current imaging technology and combines it with remote-controlled robotics, creating the world's first full-frame interchangeable lens PTZ camera. PTZ cameras have typically been used as security cameras, allowing you to watch over your home surroundings when you're not around. However, adding this kind of movement capability to real cameras has grown more popular, especially with the popularity of gimbals in recent years that allow for some degree of remote control. With the FR7, Sony has now abandoned the entire gimbal concept and integrated it directly into the camera. A full-frame sensor and an interchangeable lens mount are added to the PTZ concept in the FR7, which expands the possibilities for studio use, live production, and even filmmaking. It features several picture presets such as S Cinestone and Cine L with S Log 3 Gamma, Wide S Gamma 3, and S Gamma 3 color spaces, and it can shoot 4K videos at up to 120 frames per second or 1080p at up to 240 frames per second. Pan and tilt movements can be made at speeds ranging from 0.02 degrees per second for extremely slow movements to 60 degrees per second for quick adjustments, and it can memorize up to 100 preset camera positions. Because it has a built-in electronically controlled variable ND filter, you won't have to fiddle with screw-on filters while changing lenses on location. You can change that remotely as the lighting in the scene changes because it's electronically controlled and is located right there in the camera. The camera sports the now common dual format dual car slot arrangement found on cameras like the Sony FX3 and A7S3, so it can house up to two UHS 2SD cards and up to two CF Express Type A cards to a maximum of two cards total, two of one type or one of each type. Internally, it saves out as XAVC but can also output 16 bit RAW video externally over SDI2. It has HDMI Type A and 12G SDI output, audio input via 5 pin XLR, as well as Ethernet for remote control, power, audio, and video transfer. In terms of performance, the FR7 is very similar to the FX6. One difference between the FR7 and the FX6 is that it has no audio capture capability, although it can accept microphones via XLR. While it works with 70E mount lenses, the control of the Z in PTZ relies on lenses with built-in motors and Sony says it's one of the only companies that currently produce lenses with built-in servo zooms, which are essential for this line. The 28-135mm f-stop 4 is considered to be the best choice and will be offered as a kit option. As for workflow, the camera uses a web app for totally new camera control as well as the RM IP500 Pro multi-camera remote controller. The web app interface is accessible from a tablet or PC and uses a smart screen design and intuitive operation by touch AF control. It also features Wi-Fi connectivity. The FR7 is also capable of streaming. The camera supports SRT and RTSP streaming out of the box and can be upgraded to utilize NDIHX via an optional firmware upgrade. The FR7 is an intriguing step forward for the world of PTC cameras and opens a whole new world of automated possibilities for the digital cinema world. So, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below.